Okay, while we're waiting for everybody to come on, uh, we want to welcome you to the Notary 2 Pro month monthly uh, roundtable. We're, we're, we were talking before we got started here today. We're very excited about this topic, all of us. We think it's uh, uh, a very timely uh, uh, topic. So, uh, and, and one that's good for both new folks and experienced folks to kind of think about. Uh, and uh, if you are new to Notary to Pro, uh, we do these uh, 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 monthly roundtables. And Sabrina, I noticed we got a little glitch on the date up here. But anyway, we do we do these roundtables monthly. Uh, we try to keep them limited to 30 minutes and make them highly impactful to you. Uh, we focus on things that are going to help you grow your business, expand your skills, or make your work and life better. And I think in some ways, our topic today touches all of those, uh, uh, all of those areas uh, in, in some pretty profound ways. So uh, what are we talking about today? We're talking about the importance of professionalism and we've got all of our own uh, perspectives on the idea of professionalism and what that means exactly. So Sabrina, have we got the chat enabled now? Does it seem to be working? No, I'm still working on it, but okay. Go ahead. All right. Well, we we are not going to wait uh, for the chat to come live uh, to to get started because we do have short time. Um, but uh, I encourage you as chat comes live and just let us know, uh, Sabrina, when that happens. Okay. We uh, just uh, introduce yourself on chat, please. So uh, on the call today, we have uh, Sabrina, you never introduced yourself on this. Sabrina, our marketing <laughs> uh, person extraordinaire who uh, helps us pull these things together. Uh, there's myself, I'm CEO of Notary to Pro, Andrea Do uh, Dooling and Stephanie Rowland, both of members of our faculty and extraordinary notaries in their own right. So uh, we're, we're gonna launch right into our topic and uh, uh, we look forward to hearing from you, your questions and, and your thoughts. So um, everybody's good, right? We're ready to get started, excited about this? I am. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. So, uh, you know, I, a timely sort of uh, topic because I, I think we all have experienced a little bit of, I'll call it degradation in professionalism in some of our daily public life. I don't know if you've experienced that, but I feel like we have yeah. uh, since the whole COVID and lockdowns and sort of a change in, in economy. Sometimes you, you go to, you know, a local store or uh, work with a local service provider of some type and you, you, you just feel like there's something missing the mark in terms mm -hmm. of that professionalism. But uh, so, so when Sabrina raised this topic as, as something for us to discuss, you know, I, I thought long and hard about it. What what actually is professionalism and where does it come from? And I I think back to my days a long, long time ago. I won't uh, tell you how long ago in the military. And the military was a pretty important um, training ground for me. It taught me a lot, a lot about life. And um, I, I think the big thing that comes out of any sort of participation in the military is respect right you have to have respect you you show respect you treat yourself with respect you treat other people with respect and the military uh in my experience was also all about competence you do your job you do your job well you develop your skills and your expertise and that's how people judge you is through the competence that you deliver in your job mm -hmm. and the respect that you show to other people. Now, I combine that with one other very important thing, and that's having an integrity. And to me, integrity, yes. you can define it a million ways, but it comes down to doing what you say you're going to do, what you're supposed to do. Doesn't matter if somebody's watching or not, or <clears throat> doesn't matter if you're going to get caught or not. It just, you do it all the time. And to mm -hmm. me, that's really important. And I, I think, you know, I think back on, on my, uh, my career, a lot of success, some, some, uh, some rough times too, but professionalism has always led to my own confidence, confidence in people around me in what I can do and ultimately success. So 
I don't know. What do you guys think? And I agree. Could I read what I uh, posted on LinkedIn? Uh, sure. Okay, so we, it's we about... also have your list, by the way, Stephanie. Oh, you do. Have... Yeah, but it? this is different. Okay. Sure. It, it's it's it touches on integrity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wrote workplace integrity and in your daily life. Oh, can you guys hear me? My we can, internet. We can. Okay. Workplace integrity and in your daily life can be exemplified by many traits, including. Oh, she is having honesty, trouble. Honesty, loyalty, respect, res decision making, serving clients, representing the title companies and lenders you contract with, and the general public. Not only that. That, but it sure does make you feel good and it makes you want to go above and beyond for people. Could you guys hear that? Yeah, we had a couple little glitches, Stephanie. But we, I think we mostly uh, heard it and we encourage everybody to follow you on LinkedIn so they can see the, the okay. specific post. Maybe we can do a link to, to that, to that okay. um, uh, on this chat. But thank you for sharing that. So Andrea, what? you were going to say something as well, I think. Oh, I just 100% agree with those three pillars that you mentioned there. Yeah, well, thank you. All right. Me too. So, who did this come from? Oh, Andrea, these are yours. So we're gonna we're gonna go right from your comment to yours. Are there any okay. of these that you would like to really highlight? Um. Well, my I could have gone on and on and on, honestly, oh, okay. um, because uh, professionalism or lack thereof is like a really big deal for me. Okay. Um, so obviously, dress code, dress code. When mm -hmm. I was considering this profession. I actually sat in on my mom's refinance and mm -hmm. I was able to ask the notary some questions, but that first interaction I had with her, I was a bit surprised by her attire. Um, she was somewhat dressed like she was going to the beach, like she had a tank top on and some tights and some um, flip flops. So wait a minute, this is your mom? This is the notary for oh. my mom's refinance. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mental note at that moment, make sure you dress professionally. Always, yeah. always, always. And oftentimes when I think about professionalism in this field, I think about, well, what if I own the signing service? Yeah. How, if I was actually hiring notaries, how would I want them to present themselves? And so that's how I present myself mm -hmm. to the utmost standard. That doesn't mean I'm wearing heels and I'm wearing a suit or anything like that, but it means that I am presentable. I am speaking with confidence. I am knowledgeable. I am on time. I am friendly. Mm -hmm. When I speak, um, clearly number seven, no gum, no gum. Um, I'm mindful of the kind of the perfume that I'm wearing because I know everyone has allergies. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that we all need to be aware of. But ultimately, just be friendly, be on time, do your job to the best of your ability. And do. And the other thing, don't judge people. Everyone is different. We mm -hmm. all have our, our different opinions. So obviously religion and uh, politics should not be something that's discussed while at the, the signing table. Mm -hmm. But if you are just friendly and presentable and knowledgeable, oftentimes your closings will go very smoothly. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes you end up walking away making friends. Yeah. That's nice. I think don't judge is, is, is really an interesting one. Because we, our temptation is to judge all the time, right? You go into someone's house uh -huh. and it's really messy and they have 47 cats and a parrot named Ed or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to judge chicken. them. I've uh, encountered chicken? chickens. <laughs> really? How about, you had a signing with a chicken? Huh? <laughs> there were chickens walking all around the house <laughs> oh my goodness yeah oh i've done a signing with uh those big amazon birds in the house you know like lots of them wow okay <laughs> so so you, you 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 need to remember you're you're not there to judge them and their lifestyle right and and their choice of pets 
Personally, I think the only place a chicken belongs is on my plate. But, <laughs> okay. but hey, kudos to them for having them in the house. <laughs> yes. Okay. Interesting that you point out the perfume and cologne. I don't mm -hmm. think it, I don't think many people think about that, but people do have allergies, huh? No, I do. Oh, do you? Absolutely. To cologne, yes, absolutely. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Uh, Stephanie, this is Andrea's list, but do any of these things surprise you? No, uh -uh. no? they're they're all things that I do, and I think uh, she hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Hey, let's de let's delve into dress code a little bit because I I'm not going to stand up and show you what I'm wearing <laughs> underneath my collared shirt, right? Uh, I trust me, I I'm I'm decent, okay, but uh, yeah, I live in Arizona, so flip-flops and shorts are, are common until, well, pretty much all year long, right? So, but if I were going to a signing, what would be appropriate? Um, if you're in Arizona and you're going to, to a signing, like um, the capri pants, I don't know about men's, but the capri pants that are stylish, that can be kind of dressed up or dressed down, mm -hmm. you can easily um, have some flip-flops mm -hmm. in your car. But when you step out, it should not it should be more presentable. So throw mm -hmm. some some closed toe or heels or something that looks something that looks nice, not mm -hmm. like you're dressed up to go to the ballroom or anything like that, but yeah. just something presentable. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, Sabrina, I'm going to put you on the spot for a second. You know, uh, not to pick on your generation, <laughs> but a lot of people who are in their 20s don't necessarily know the difference between, let's call it club attire mm -hmm. and business attire. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how do you know the difference? Um, I would say if it's something you'd want to wear in front of like your grandma. <laughs> okay yeah but then if they're from the 70s then that's then it's wouldn't club work. attire or it's, or it's business attire if i feel uncomfortable with it in front of my grandma it's probably club attire oh okay <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, and i know your grandma and so that's yeah. probably uh yeah that's probably good advice for, mm -hmm. for most people okay. my grandma was born in like not <laughs> she was not young in the 70s so she's yeah. very <laughs> modest <laughs> Yeah, she was born in the 20s, actually. Yeah. So yeah, the first time around or the, the last set of 20s, not this mm -hmm. one, obviously. So cool. All right. Well, why don't we uh, go to uh, Stephanie's tips on professionalism? <clears throat> Stephanie, what, what of this list would you like to, to talk about and highlight? Hmm. Well, I just think that if you take control of the signing from the moment you make that confirmation call, Mm -hmm. You're, if you set the tone and explain to your borrowers exactly what's going to go, you know, how the closing is going to go, what your role is and mm -hmm. tell them things like, you know, to look over their closing disclosure, to make sure all their loan terms are correct, mm -hmm. their spelling of their name and their property address is correct. 99.9% .9 of the time your closing is going to go smoothly. Okay. And um, so I get comments all the time how organized I am and how smooth and fast my closing goes. It's not because I rush people, but mm -hmm. because I'm so prepared and I know what I'm doing. And I walk in with confidence mm -hmm. and I sh exemplify the fact that I love my job. And so that all shines through. I have a little example. So <clears throat> in August, um, I took a closing from um, a company that's reputable, but it was a, for a lower fee than I normally would not take, but I mm -hmm. felt led to take it for some reason. Um, so the guy uh, owned a property management company and um, he was buying investment properties back in Missouri and Minnesota. Um, he was so impressed with me he texted me and asked me if I would be his personal uh, mobile notary. Since then, I have closed six investment or commercial properties for him. Um, and I'm telling you, I was paid anywhere from 150 to 250 for mm -hmm. those closings, depending on how complicated. Well, none of them were complicated. But that just goes to show you that you never 
Uh oh. <clears throat> no, when you walk mm -hmm. into someone's home, what who you're going to meet, what's going to happen, those that family now has become friends for me. And he just had a major heart attack a couple weeks ago. Tomorrow he's having quadruple bypass surgery. Oh my and guess why I was sent to that closing to be there for them during this time. So it's not just about the money. It's about the relationships you make. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is the best gift of all. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I've stated all those things. You need to engage with the borrower, comment mm -hmm. on their pets, their children, pictures in the home. Carol talked about that all the time. Yeah. Um, so if you just, you know, you're, you're there for other reasons than to do a job. Mm -hmm. So... I, I like that. And and so what you're saying, I think, when you talk about taking control of the signing is you're you're really displaying your competence in yes. this area, right? Mm -hmm. And you're leading them through something that mm -hmm. otherwise would be very stressful. Stressful and mm -hmm. confusing. And yes. you know, our anxiety comes up comes up mm -hmm. when you don't know what you're doing because we don't know what we're doing as a signer, right? So well, and many times mm -hmm. the they will have had a difficult time with the lender, mm -hmm. you know, not all the time, but that happens quite often. So by the time you get to them, you're the only face that they've seen. Yeah. You're the only, uh, you know, and so you know, no, you've got to be professional. That's the mm -hmm. bottom line, um, and it comes with time. Yeah. So for me, I believe that my professionalism started when I was a child, because my parents raised me to have good morals, excellent manners, which is something people do not have anymore. <laughs> and I was taught, <laughs> I was taught to dress well. Mm -hmm. So like, even when I'm out and about, you know, doing grocery shopping, I always look my best, no matter what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's just the way I am. And um, wow. So <laughs> So no no pajamas out on the out on the street. No, I don't go to Walmart with my jammy bottoms on, uh -huh. but I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't anybody either. seeing me in my pajamas? So, uh, uh, Sabrina, did we get the chat functioning yet? Um, when we're done with the screen, um, I'm going to take control back over because I can't enable it when I'm not the host. Okay, I'm going to temporarily stop sharing so you can do that. All right, let's see. And we'll get the chat enabled because we definitely want to address questions and yeah. comments from, from everybody. Mm -hmm. So Andrea, um, I know I took the screen down, but um, what do you think about Stephanie's idea that taking control of the signing from the very beginning is really professional? What, what do oh, you think about that? Absolutely. I remember when I was a brand new notary and I didn't know... I, like being assertive and being, in my mind, pushy mm -hmm. uh -huh. is not my characteristic at all. Uh -huh. So taking control over the table was something that I really had to learn. And once I realized that if I take control over the table to show that I'm the professional, mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to guide them in the in the signing process, mm -hmm. then it made the whole signing a lot easier. It made it a lot quicker. And ultimately, we had a better time at the table mm -hmm. once I took mm -hmm. control over it. And I know control might sound, to me, it sounds bad, but ultimately mm -hmm. it's not. It's just doing the job that you came to do, but doing it in a way mm -hmm. that you're answering questions before they're even asked and you're mm -hmm. taking care of things and, and telling them information um, that they that they mm -hmm. want to know, but they may not even know to ask you. So you're already mm -hmm. giving them that information. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think about I mean, there's so many analogies. My mom always loved the ana analogies that they're all through her course for our students. Mm -hmm. Right. She always had an analogy for something. But yeah. I, mine for this, they, if you get on a bus, right. Or better yet, you get on an airplane, right? You don't want the pilot to meander back into the <laughs> cabin no. and say, well, we thought about going to Denver and that would put us over Utah. But I'm not sure. How do you guys feel about that, right? <laughs> that would be a nightmare, right, for a passenger on a plane. It's like, what is this guy doing? So the, 
taking control is really, I, I agree with you guys. I think it's, it's really just demonstrating competence and making sure that you're conveying to people that, that you know what you're doing. You're going to show them through this process very easily. It doesn't mean you don't listen, right? Uh, right. You're still listening to their mm -hmm. feedback. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that happens, right? You get feedback during mm -hmm. a during a signing. It may mm -hmm. cause you to change some things or address some things. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how do you get to that point of being able to take control of the signing? Like, what's key? Mm -hmm. Your confidence, I think. Your confidence. confidence. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Walking in and um, like, for instance, I'm right-handed. So I mm -hmm. like the main borrower to be directly to my right. And then uh -huh. if there's another person, you know, to his right or their right, because um, okay. it makes it easier for me to, you know, flip the pages over and, and keep mm -hmm. control. But, yeah. but really for me, it's from the moment I make the confirmations call okay and and, uh, and preparation then that, yes that goes oh. from that point mm -hmm. yeah. once i became more knowledgeable about the documents and once i let's say had five or ten closings under my belt my signings went from wow. mm, probably an hour and 15 hour and a half to easy 20 30 minutes really? um and that's because of, like you said, the prep work that you do before the mm -hmm. signing, but then the confidence that you then have because you know mm -hmm. what you're doing and what you need mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. You know what the great thing about that is, Andrea, is you, you're cutting down on the time. It saves mm -hmm. you time. Mm -hmm. It saves your customer time. It creates a whole lot less anxiety. And because you're not spending as much time, you can make a lot more money, which is kind mm -hmm. of a nice benefit. Right? For sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. During twenty, I like it. It's a, very few things are win-win. Some, you know, it's hard <laughs> to find those true win-wins. That's a win all the way around. Well, hey, for Sabrina? instance, mm -hmm. oh, go so ahead. like, um, mm -hmm. for instance, one of the tricks that I've done from the beginning was like, for instance, the deed of trust. It's eighteen mm -hmm. pages, so I clip all. I use a paper clip and clip all mm -hmm. the pages together that they aren't signing or and that I'm not notarizing that's a lot of pages that I that I don't need to flip through so mm -hmm. anything that has you know more than five or six pages I I clip it together mm -hmm. and that's sort of part of the preparation that you're doing mm -hmm. so that it goes much much smoother then I'm sorry I was cutting out again oh yeah we lost your sounds a little rough today so um, that we're having fires everywhere. Um, oh. The inner it 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 it's messing with the internet. I'm okay. socked in right now with smoke. Oh. Well, I hope you stay okay. <laughs> I will. I was just saying that's part of the preparation that you mm -hmm. do bind those things together. Mm -hmm. so, Sabrina, I know our chat is working now, and and there may have been questions mm -hmm. uh, or comments. We should is there anything we should deal with? Or yeah, we have a question address? from Susan. Um, she said, one of the previous suggestions was not to bring anyone with you, even a notary in the training, if, even a notary in training, how else would they get direct experience? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't, you mean direct experience, uh, you mean to do a closing or with I think a just title for them company? to have like training, but like accompanying you to get that hands-on training. But what do you guys have to say about that? Because you're not really allowed to bring. Well, there's privacy issues. You know, we sign contracts with the companies that we work with that we will protect their clients' um, privacy. So that's a big no-no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So one suggestion is um, um, like- I feel closing. like if you take training from a company such as, oh, I feel like if you take <laughs> training that is good training, like Notary to Pro, um, I think that prepares you. And it's just, yeah. it's just getting yourself out there doing closings after closing, after closing, that's what gives you experience. You don't want to learn somebody else's bad mistakes. Carol states mm -hmm. that in her, stated that in her class. And that's true right. because people get laps, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And we, we didn't, we don't do this uh, round table to plug notary to pro, but I will say that those mock closings that we have videotaped are among the more popular parts of the course uh, because it gives you that direct 
in you know experience without necessarily um uh um you, you know risking sort of not uh, privacy issues right andrea i think you were going to say something as well oh i was just going to mention the mock closings um that you mm -hmm. just spoke of and even having mock closings of your own if you need someone to mm -hmm. kind of play as the signer then your husband your wife your kids shucks it can even be a stuffed animal the point is you're trying mm -hmm. to get the experience and trying to figure out um what works for you what mm -hmm. um at the end of the day i feel like all of us end up having our own script almost i didn't plan that but that's what it mm -hmm. turned out to be and so what mm -hmm. runs off my tongue smoothly what works for me mm -hmm. so that i can get through the documents efficiently but at the same time quickly yeah what and i think another thing to do is we offer mentoring but in one way or another find a mentor somebody that you can talk to whether it's through our school or through somebody uh, who's who's experienced in the industry just be careful that you're not picking up someone's bad habits right mm -hmm. we, we, we make right. sure we're vetting those mm -hmm. but I, I think i love that idea of doing a mock signing with a stuffed animal or your <laughs> or your cat or or the parrot ed we talked about earlier yeah. so why it ed i don't know even, yeah it doesn't even matter long as you're trying to gain the experience um mm -hmm. i can't tell you how many people i've had uh what is it zoom meetings with just doing mock closings trying to help people get the documents and figure out what works for them what system mm -hmm. is going to work for them great Great they don't idea. know me, but they're willing to to reach out to me and ask mm -hmm. me for help. So <laughs> nice. it doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sabrina. Uh, that I thought that was from Susan. Yeah, that was Susan. Thanks, Susan, for that. That's a one. Thank you, Susan, for that question. Are there other questions? That, There's uh, two additional about? comments. So from Vivian, okay. she says, "Yes, I agree with Andrea. You have to know your documents and how to discuss them with the clients. Preparation is key. That has always helped me on signings. My confidence level is so much higher when I prepare." So, mm -hmm. awesome. yeah, nice. And then, yeah. go ahead. Want, let me interject. The other way we talked about dress code and dress code. You know, dressing appropriately for a signing. Um, one of the things that I have always found, and I don't know if you guys will agree or disagree, I suspect we'll get some agreement, is when you look good, you look the part, you look in the mirror, and you say to yourself, I look good, I, I look professional, you're going to feel more professional. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was a kid and just learning the ropes, they always said dress for the job you wanted, not the job you had. Mm -hmm. Right. That mm -hmm. was a rule of thumb. Uh, and, and I always thought that was a good, good idea. And as a notary, you know, you want people to respect you for so dress dress for that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that just doesn't mean wearing a coat and tie everywhere. But no. um, yeah. OK, but I'm if sorry, you present Sabrina, go ahead. yourself like if you present yourself as if you don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're bound to have more questions. Mm -hmm. You're bound to have a longer closing um, uh -huh. because now they have lost confidence in you. Mm -hmm. So now they're yeah. questioning whether they should even yeah. be signing these documents. So mm -hmm. just present yourself professionally, be um, be kind, be respectful and be confident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what would be a fun thing to do, Sabrina? I think we should do uh, one of our quizzes. We do all these quizzes and people mm -hmm. surveys and people enjoy them. I think we, we should get the notary to pro team uh, to dress up since it's Halloween mm -hmm. month in we'll, we'll get everybody to do three inappropriate uh, outfits <laughs> and one appropriate. And we'll let our let, let our students guess which one is which. What do you That's a good one. That's a good one for the visual okay. learners. OK, and 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 uh, nothing dirty, you guys. But if you if you no have club attire. No, no club attire, okay. <laughs> but if, if our audience has contributions to make, we'd love to see them. That'd be that'd be wonderful. All right. That would be. Uh, I think it's a topic that people. Real of our pictures and um, mm -hmm. the the pan and everyone's pictures. Just this is how yeah. not to dress. <laughs> yeah, and and I think to the to the other thing is what's appropriate in some. Well, you mentioned in Arizona, right? uh th that one thing might be appropriate that might not be appropriate in manhattan uh -huh. right um you know very different styles of 
uh, and, and ex expectations. So it'd be very interesting to see how our notaries dress on the job. That'd be very, I, I challenge you to send us stuff. Okay. I'm pretty sure those folks in Hawaii wear flip flops and sundresses. <laughs> that, that's well, right. I would not ask them. <laughs> no, that, I would love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sabrina, was there another comment or question? There was two last ones. Um, one was more of a comment it's from Elizabeth in New York. I think she's talking about dealing with an unprofessional client. So she said, I just did a 2 p.m. signing for a seller. Signing service asked for scan backs, but I did not get a response for hours. No return calls, no text or email. Title agency also asked me to send scan backs. I did. I got an immediate response to go ahead and send the FedEx. The signing service finally CC'd me 15 minutes before 9 p.m. I didn't want to go over SS, but dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, well, I think we need some interpretation on that, Stephanie mm -hmm. or Andrea. So what I'm hearing her say is she needed approval. Perhaps she needed approval in order to send docs. Yeah. Um, and so my opinion, I think she did pretty good. Yeah. I think she did probably what I would have done, mm -hmm. waiting to hear back. Um, let me see who else I can go to since the mm -hmm. signing service is not um, communicating. So mm -hmm. kudos to her. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. And I think sometimes we have to, compensate with our own professionalism mm -hmm. and stepping <laughs> up when we're dealing with a customer who's maybe off their game that day. We mm -hmm. won't say they're being unprofessional, but they're off their game. And yeah. So. Cool. Sabrina, was there one more? And then I think we're 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 yeah. out of time. Yeah. So we have one. It's kind of broad. It's it's from Claire. She says, hi, given the market today, I am wondering if it is still profitable to get into business. Oh. Well so the interest question interest rates are going to rise again mm -hmm. the feds just announced that um it's it's a, it's very slow right now it it is slow um we're also seeing a lot of notaries sort of migrate out of the business and mm -hmm. taking alternate jobs but our feedback from students has been if you are competent and mm -hmm. you are able to handle different types of signings and not rely on a single source of income, it can okay. still be profitable. The yeah. best notaries are still making good, good money. Mm -hmm. But I want to be, I want to be cautious with, with offering advice like this, because there's too many in our industry that are offering these fabulous prices, you know, yep. oh, you're going to make so much money doing mm -hmm. this. And even in the best of times, to make a very, very good living at being a, a, a signing agent, you have to work very hard mm -hmm. and be professionally competent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and it takes a it takes time and effort to get there. So uh, our our advice is always if you're looking for quick a quick return, this is pro this is probably not the best mm -hmm. for you. If you're looking yeah. for a long term, flexible uh, uh, business that you can get into with a, a minimum of effort and, uh, or a minimum of upfront investment and a lot of effort, it can be profitable for you. So I hope that's, that's how helpful. Any controversy about my advice, guys, any, anything you would add to that or disagree? no, I think it's right on. Okay. And, Good. you know, we have ups and downs in this industry. And, um, those of us who have been in the business for, several years now, five or more, um, we're, I'm just going to ride it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's going to come a back. Roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will come back. It, nobody know we don't have a crystal ball. Wish I wish I did, but we, we don't have a crystal ball on when, but thank you so much, guys. This was, uh, I, I had fun with this topic. Didn't you? Yeah, for good. Sure. Was good. I, I hope our audience did as well. Please let us know your thoughts. And we will be back next month. Sabrina, what's our topic next month? Um, how to recognize fake IDs. Ah, mm -hmm. very practical for notaries. Okay, awesome. What yeah. was that? Recognizing Sorry. fake identification. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, we need to get some fake ones out there for next <laughs> I'll month. I'll bring mine. Oh. I'll bring mine from when I was younger. I'll bring my mug yeah, shot from too. when I was in jail. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, 
Be careful what you say. This is recorded. I know, right? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great evening. Bye. Thanks Bye, for joining us. Hello, I'm Michael Ray, CEO of notary to pro Thanks for joining us for this webinar. Be sure to see our website, notarytopro.com, for more information and resources. Also, don't forget to sign up with us there for great additional updates, news, and tools. Notary to Pro is the most respected professional signing agent course in the United States. Founded by Carol Ray in 2009, Notary to Pro has trained more than 10,000 notaries to become professional signing agents. Our graduates are preferred by more signing agencies because only Notary to Pro enables notaries to practice error-free signings. Thanks again, and see you next time. Thank you.